How to Buy Land with No Money Down. Welcome back. Now, I'm Ted Thomas, and for the past 30 years, I've been involved in a subset of the traditional real estate business. Now, traditional real estate is considered single family homes, residential lots that are buildable and maybe they're vacant. And of course, it includes small apartments, small office buildings, and some small farms. What we're really going to talk about is how to buy land with no money down. Now, thousands of people are employed in the real estate business. They do everything. Some of them are brokers, some are lenders, title companies. They have home inspectors, handyman. There's all agents. There's also attorneys that help with the title company and so on. So a lot of people are employed. But in the subset of the business, those same people are actually employed. But the big difference is the property owners have failed to pay the property tax. So I'm going to talk a lot about that. Now, we're going to talk about tax defaulted property that the local governments, they really want to get rid of those properties. Why do they want to get rid of them? They don't want properties on their books that are defaulted and they're not paying any taxes. So what they do when they get a defaulted property is they attempt to sell it and they do that at an auction and they discount the property 60%, 70%, even 80%. So if you could buy a property 80% less than the retail, well, you probably really want to consider that, especially if you know that at tax defaulted auctions, the treasurer actually cancels and wipes out the, the mortgage. So today's episode is a review of how to buy land with no money down. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. How to buy land with no money down. Now, in many instances, the seller, when they're trying to sell land, expects to get a huge down payment, 30 or 40 percent. However, the reality is very few people have a large down payment. Now, if they don't have a large down payment, how are they going to sell it? So these sellers, reluctantly, they're willing to take a small down payment or no down payment and take a mortgage on that for the remaining balance of the purchase price. So sometimes sellers will sell just to get a note and get payments on it. All right, now the document that they use to do that is called a contract of sale. Very similar to what happened with a car loan. What happens with a car loan? What you do is you buy the car, but they don't give you the title to the car until you finish paying for it. Same thing, they don't give you the title to the property. All right, so generally speaking, loans are difficult to get on land. They're very difficult to get because people are afraid, the banks and lenders, are afraid you're just going to walk away. So most bankers feel it's too risky to lend on property that's vacant. In other words, there's no real collateral there except the land. So when you're talking about how to buy land with no money down, you're going to have a few challenges. Now, there are ways to do this, okay? All right. Now, sellers will sell, but they want high interest rates if they want no or low down payments. So keep in mind, don't expect to get the bargain rate on the loan if you're going to not put a lot down. All right, so we're talking about low down or no down. So when the seller is acting as the banker, expect the interest rate to be high, even though they're going to be the lender. They're not going to make you a great deal. They're going to make money on the interest on that loan. All right, now buildable residential land is very, very saleable. All right, not only is it saleable, but you can also finance it. Why? Because it can be built on right away, okay? So commonly that land could be sold 25 or 30 percent down payment and then some long-term financing. Long-term meaning five or ten years. Or many builders try to get options on it so they can pay for it or they can do a contract where they pay for it every time they sell something. So today's episode we're answering the question how to buy with little or no down payment at all. Now two distinct programs come to mind right away. The first one is the government, the Department of Agriculture, they allow no down payment loans on property in rural areas because they want to develop not only the land in the rural area, but they also want to have housing in those rural areas. Now, what they have to be careful of there, if you are the developer of all that, is what are you going to do about getting water to it? Or what are you going to do about having utilities? But that's another whole problem. But right now, we're talking about who does no down payment loans? So the Department of Agriculture is one source. All right, now very few people know about that the Department of Agriculture does that, but they do 100% finance loans and they do it on a regular basis. All right, now there's another zero down 
loan program that many people are aware of, and that one's the Veterans Administration. So if you'd been in the service, those people that have served their country, the, uh, the government has passed rules that they can buy property with absolutely no down. Now, they buy brand new housing with no down. So who's guaranteeing that? Well, that's you and I, the taxpayers, are going to guarantee that. So banks will lend to those people, and the loan is guaranteed. Now, the challenge is they're loaning to people that are going to have a high default rate. Now, why are they going to have a high default rate? Well, the young people, sometimes they're out of service and they're 20 or 21 years old, and they're not so responsible. In other words, they don't realize that you don't just make house payments, you have to make tax payments. You have to take money to fix the property. You have to maintain it. You have to take care of the lawns and whatever. And so a lot of those people actually lose the property, and then they come back into the market from the Department of Veterans Administration. All right, so it's not easy to finance land. If you're expecting to do it zero down, I'm not saying you can't do it, but it's going to be a tough job to get that done. But expect that seller to have sky-high interest rates on the loan that they are going to give you. So these loans are made high interest because that's how they're going to make the money. Now, you've got a real... You've got a real challenge getting a zero interest loan, but you don't have a real challenge with a zero down. You're going to find out they'll sell you that property, but it's going to be, have a high interest rate. All right, so I'm a solutions guy. I'm always looking for an alternative, but with these different kinds of land, if you're using raw land, well, that's going to be tough. If you're using improved land, it's going to be a little bit easier. If you've got a residential lot, okay, now that's, that's something that can be sold quickly and easily. So if it's a residential lot that's already approved, you can probably get a loan on that. You're trying to get no down or low down. All right, now tax defaulted properties, this happens all the time. Now, this isn't for everyone. Tax defaulted properties are around because local governments, if you haven't paid taxes, what they're going to do, they're going to put you in default. And then the county treasurer is going to not only send you notice, but they'll levy the tax, and then they'll try to collect the tax. And if they don't collect the property tax, they're going to confiscate the property. Now, what are they going to do with the property? Well, the treasurer doesn't want the property, and neither does the county. So they're going to sell those properties at auction, and they're going to give bargain deals. Now, what does that mean? They're going to discount the property 60 70 or 80%. And when they do that, now you have a low price. They're going to try to sell it for that low price, and... They're going to wipe out the mortgage. So these properties are available all the time in every county. So there's over 3,000 counties that sell tax defaulted properties. Now, do I know that what each one of them has for sale? No. But in the large population counties, there will be hundreds, even thousands of properties that they will sell tax defaulted, that they'll sell for 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents on the dollar with absolutely no mortgage. Now, everything I'm telling you about these tax defaulted properties is 200 years old. Now, how does it all take place? It takes place because the legislature has rules. The legislature that governs the state says everyone will pay property tax. Now, if the people don't pay the property tax, what's going to happen is the treasurer is going to send them a notice of default and say, look, you must pay property tax. If they don't pay it, the treasurer who has already levied against them and has already f figured out that they're not going to collect the tax is going to send a notice of default and they're going to confiscate the property. Now, once they have confiscated the property, they move the people off the property. Now they're going to sell the property to see if they can get money back to pay the taxes. So when they sell the property to facilitate the sale, they drop the price 60, 70, 80 percent, and then they put it on the market. And when I say put it on the market, it's a public auction. They put those up on the county website and advertise them. They also advertise them in the newspaper. The property is going to start at 10, 20, even 30 cents on the dollar, and they'll have no mortgage. Now, there's going to be plenty of those properties that are going to be auctioned. In many cases, you could buy those properties at the auction, and you can get loans on them, okay? Now, is that zero down? No, it's not no money down, but you're going to get it for 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents on the dollar. Now, if you bought residential buildable vacant land, you're going to have a good property because it'll sell quickly. Now, keep in mind, these properties are discounted heavily at the auction. You don't have to discount when you sell it. You can sell it for any price you want. So there's a margin. So let's say you bought it for, it was a $100,000 property. You paid 30000 for it. Now you wanted to sell it. So if you sold it under the market at, say, $60,000, it would sell quickly. That margin between the thirty that you paid and the sixty you're selling, that margin, all that money is going to be yours. The point is, the county doesn't want those properties. 
So those properties are refinanceable. Uh, however, it would be much better if you could buy the property and it hadn't been in default and you could buy it from a seller and the seller would allow you the financing and they would just charge you a high interest rate. So the county has these properties, 3,000 counties across the United States, they're all going to sell tax defaulted properties and they're going to sell tax defaulted land. At every auction, 25% of every auction, maybe even 35% of the auctions will have tax defaulted land property. So they're selling these at low prices and when the auction takes place, there's no mortgage and the deed of trust loan is wiped out. So the county expects payments. So these are not no down, but they're about as low down payment as you're going to get. What can you expect to find there? You can expect to find complete farms. You can find rangeland. You can find single family homes. You're getting the idea. There's all different kinds of properties. All right, now what do you have to know about all this? Well, here's what you have to know. Number one, properties that, that are land are sold by the acre, all right? So acres, they'll say it's a thousand an acre, five thousand an acre, whatever. So let's say there was a thirty thousand dollar property they were trying to sell at auction. They might only be asking nine hundred dollars. Wow, nine hundred dollars in back taxes, and that's because the property owner failed to pay the back taxes. Well, if you bought that for nine hundred dollars, you just practically stole the property. You got the property for three hundred dollars an acre. All right, my name is Ted Thomas. If you're interested in, in these auctions, uh, you can get a sample auction list. Just go below me and request a sample auction list. If you are going to buy properties, don't buy properties that you haven't seen. You need to have boots on the ground and look at that property. Why? There might have been a fire. There might have been a hurricane. There might have been a flood. It could be any number of things that go wrong in that property. So don't buy properties you haven't seen. You also shouldn't buy properties that you don't know what your exit strategy is. Don't buy just to buy. Buy because you know what your exit strategy is. I'm Ted Thomas.